today's recipe is gonna be French bread. I posted a picture of the ones I made and it was very popular and everyone wanted the recipe. So here's the video for it. I do have some tips and tricks. It is convenient to have a thermometer so you can see exactly how hot your water is when adding it to your flour and when you're going to bloom your yeast. I recommend active dry yeast. It, there's little packets that they sell at Safeway and all the grocery stores where you can get those easily. You're gonna need about one and a half of those packets to make the bread. You're gonna to wanna to have patience when making bread. It is easy, but it is a lot of work. You're gonna to have to put some arm muscle into it when you're kneading your dough. Add all the ingredients and everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below as always. And if this is the first recipe you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the recipes I always post. Now let's get started. The ingredients you're gonna need is five and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon active dry yeast, two cups of water, a third cup of water, a pinch of sugar, three teaspoons of salt, and a thermometer. Take the one third cup of water at 110 degrees, put that with your yeast, and then add your pinch of sugar to that. Combine that and let it just bloom and bubble. Put it to the side. And then add your salt to your flour, mix it well with your hand, and then make a little hole in the middle and add your yeast to that. With a wooden spoon, mix it together and then add your two cups of water that is at 70 degrees. And combine that well with the wooden spoon until it comes together. And once you notice it, hold its shape. You can start using your hands to combine it even better. Now once it holds a firm shape, you can put it out onto a lightly floured counter where we're gonna knead this. And this will take a, some patience and some arm muscle. Just knead it until it starts coming together. It's springy, it holds its shape really well. Once your dough is ready, you can put it in a container with a plastic wrap. I like to use this Cambro where it seals the top really well. Put this in a warm place, not too hot, so it can double in size. And depending on the temperature, it could take about 40 minutes. If not, just keep an eye until it doubles in size. Degas it, take it out, and roll your dough out. Then you can cut it to your preference, your size. You can make large ones, small ones. I did some small ones to get more out of this dough. So here I just cut into six different shapes, roll them up like this, pinch the bottom, and then let that sit. You're gonna wanna form all your doughs. Let them sit for 10 minutes to let the yeast do its work. And after you let them cover and sit, you can form your shape and then put these onto your baking sheet pan. And then right now you can set your oven at 450 degrees so it preheats while this rests. After you let your bread rest, you're gonna score it. I'm using an X-Acto blade. You can use anything sharp you have, or if you do have something specific for bread, use that as well. I also like to use a spray bottle with water to spray my oven down three times within the first 10 minutes of baking. Also turn your oven down to 425 degrees. They should look golden brown as you can see here. And I made the little bread bowls, and here's an inside shot of the bread and some steam. And that's how I make my French bread. As you can see, you do need patience and you need a little bit of work to make this happen, but it is pretty easy to make your own bread and it is absolutely delicious, especially warm and with butter on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see the pictures I post of this, Follow me on social media. I post everything on there. All the links are down below as well. If you make any of my recipes, tag me in them. I'd love to see your creations. And if you want to suggest something else, leave it in the comments section down below. And until next time, stay sweet.